We're going to be talking about thermal effects, misfits, and pre-strains, um, which is really isn't a lot of new material here, so this should be a quick discussion. So thermal effects, what we mean by that is, for example, heating or cooling of a material. How does that affect, does that produce strain, for example? Misfits. pre-strains. Okay, so let's talk about thermal effects first. Okay, so that's what we're going to focus on. Thermal effects. How does, how does a change in temperature affect strain? So we're going to say that the strain coming from a change in temperature T is equal to some material constant alpha times the change in temperature. Okay, This is a material parameter that's measured experimentally. It's often called the coefficient of thermal expansion. The coefficient of thermal expansion. And uh, again, it's going to be different for every material. So you can see that the strains, so the units of alpha, are going to be 1 over T because it's multiplied by a unit of time, and then this is dimensionless again. Okay, so this is a very simple, simple relationship that you can just simply add on to the mechanical strain. So if you want to know the stress produced by temperature, it's just E times epsilon T. Okay, and if you want to know the elongation produced by a change in temperature, it's just epsilon T times the length of a bar, for example. Okay. So let's just do a, a simple example. You know, Let's say we have two bars. Okay. One is length A. Okay, and then we have another one. It's length S. Okay. This here is going to be made out of aluminum. It's an aluminum pipe. So it has some coefficient of thermal expansion, which we'll denote by alpha A. And then this is going to be steel. It's going to have a coefficient of thermal expansion alpha S. The question we want to answer is at what temperature, at what temperature T will the aluminum pipe be delta L longer than the steel pipe? OK, so the steel pipe starts out longer than the aluminum pipe, but the coefficient of thermal expansion for aluminum is greater than steel. And so as it's heated up, the straining will, it will grow in length faster than this. The aluminum will grow in length faster than the steel, and eventually they will reach the same length and the aluminum will get longer. We want to know where, when does that, at what temperature will they be the same length? Okay. Okay. So a picture we can draw here is, let's say we have an aluminum bar, All right? Its original length, let's say, this is the original length LA, and then this is going to be some elongation, delta A, okay? Uh, 
our second bar. Let's put it down here. Here we've got, let's say, L S delta S and then delta L. Okay, so they start out at the lengths LA and LS and then we heat them up. The aluminum grows and the steel grows and then we're trying to figure out what happens when the aluminum overtakes the steel. Okay, and so what we want to know is when are these going to be the same length? So we have delta A plus LA is equal to delta L plus delta S plus LS. All right, then we can simply plug in the, uh, the effect of the thermal expansion for delta A and delta S giving us alpha A delta T L A plus L A is equal to delta L plus alpha S delta T L S plus L S. And so I think I might have misspoken earlier, but what we're after is the temperature T will at what temperature will the aluminum pipe be delta L longer than the steel pipe? So that's where this delta L comes from. I'm not sure if I said that before. All right, so here's our equation, okay? And um, here's our unknown, delta T, delta T. So we just solve for delta T, which gives us delta T is equal to delta L plus LS minus LA over alpha A LA minus alpha S LS.